If you haven't been to Keck headquarters in Waimea, this is our this is the front of our headquarters, uh, which, as you see, is nice and green. It's not like the uh, cinder cones up on top of the, uh, the mountain there. You can move around a little faster than this. Uh, just a little look around. Waimea is uh, I like to call it. It's got climate uh, like the Ireland in the summertime. It's, it's pretty moist in this part of Waimea and in green. The, the advantage is it's not like Ireland in that there's no serious winter weather like it is in Ireland. It doesn't get that cold. Although yeah, it's kind of cool tonight and then moist. So uh, we're just gonna we're gonna go uh, into the visitor center. The front door is here, and this is our lobby visitor center. And we have uh, let me close that up. We've got uh, models of the telescopes so over in the corner. There's one of our uh, uh, guide star docents. We call them guide stars here. Volunteers from the community here who actually uh, man our visitor center from ten to two on the weekdays, so that. Uh, Folks coming through, you know, touring the island, or, or even locals who just haven't been here can learn a little more, more about what we do here. We uh, have a, a we're building more things in this visitor center. So if you happen to be on the Big Islands anytime, feel free to come by. We, we really like having people come in so we can show them what we've got going on here. And we even have a little store. We can go back to that here. We have we have keckware. We have stuff that we uh, keck related stuff that we sell. So that's something that's uh, there's even a link there. Not trying to get too commercial here, but we do have it. If you like Keck Observatory and you, and you want some Keck swag, there is a place to get it. And so uh, feel free to check out our website at keckobservatory dot org where we have all that stuff available as well. Um, let's see, we have over here. A donor wall. That's that's just. We're gonna just click on that. It shows uh, how people can donate. Uh, we have a lot of free public lectures. We have a lot of uh, other outreach activities. Donations also help build instruments that are used on a telescope, which you know we're talking about directly benefiting science and, and benefiting mankind by that science. So people can uh, get involved, and no no donation is too small. So we, we, we'll take anything you're willing to help us with to, to help. Them build these instruments and do more outreach. Uh, go ahead and take us out into the courtyard. Yeah, yeah. This is a courtyard kind of behind the building. There's other buildings. We're going to go to even the room we're in right now, we're speaking from, uh, on this live webcast. And uh, this courtyard has one particularly interesting feature in this big, big plot of grass right here. It's a big hexagon. And uh, it's 10 meters across. It is the size of the primary mirror on the Keck telescopes, both primary mirrors, 10 meters across. So uh, I like to tell uh, kids when they come in and, and to our, our, our headquarters and we walk them out there, uh, if you can imagine your eyeball being expanded to the size of this big hexagon and imagine maybe how sensitive your eye would be, how much light you can collect with that, that's kind of what we're here looking at right there. Well, at least the lens of your eye is expanded to that size. It's, it's pretty huge. And we're going to go back to the in the back here, this other wing of the, well, uh, let's go, we're going to, first we're going to pop into the part of the tour, which is where we're actually sitting right now, which is, uh, this is a re remote ops 2 for the Keck telescope, so we don't see it, this is not a live picture right now, we're actually sitting in those chairs which are in the distance right there, uh, doing this webcast, and it's the daytime in, this, in that picture, and it's night right now. So uh, you see a lot of the same things you'll see in just a second when we end this webcast, or what, not the webcast, but the virtual tour. <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, take us uh, out. Uh, yeah, go ahead. There's another remote ops room for the other telescope, because again, there are two Keck telescopes. Over here is, I'm going to spin around inside the remote ops one. It's right next door, there's just that gray wall uh, blocking them from each other. And both of them are very similar in appearance in terms of the kind of screens and things you see. Mm -hmm. And if it was nighttime, you'd, you'd see people sitting there do, at, at work. And uh, there are often not a lot of people in these particular rooms during the day. And there's plenty of people in the rest of the building uh, and all kinds of other work related to this. But this, both these rooms are pretty much the nerve center uh, where, where the science goes on at Tech Observatory. And let's go ahead uh, to the, that she just clicked on the polycom, which immediately takes you up to the summit, which is essentially what you can see. This is the control room on the summit, 
for Keck One Telescope. And there's another Polycom screen right there, which shows people down. It has various people in different locations. Uh, astronomers work down here, not up in this room up there that we're showing you. But people are all can be connected if they have a bandwidth. They can connect uh, even remotely in California and in other locations. They can they can be working with the uh, observing assistant on the summit and uh, doing their work. Here's inside one of the domes. This is the Keck 2 telescope inside the dome. So this is a kind of cool shot that we're able to see. This is the back, you can right here the back side, the underside of the primary mirror, which is to see those kind of uh, yellowish <coughs> surfaces. Those are actuators that help adjust the, the uh, 36 hexagonal mirrors that make up the entire 10 meter primary mirror of the telescope. So uh, if you were listening earlier and you heard about the, uh, the adaptive optics, that's not the same thing. Okay? Just to make sure it's clear that the primary mirror does not adjust to, 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 to uh, counteract that with certain distortion. It's, it's another mirror that does that. The primary mirror has actuators on it because when you make a mirror this big, a primary mirror, you can't make it out of one piece of glass and, and have it actually work. It's just not stable. It bends and warps. You can't control it. By making a whole bunch of smaller mirrors and making them work together and having computer control, you can actually um, go beyond the uh, what was the an eight meter kind of limit to the size of a primary mirror. So you can see the you can see the primary mirror here. It's hard in the dome to see it because uh, it's reflecting the dome around it, but it's it's in the center of that big uh, hexagon of um, metal there. And you can look up and scan around the dome. This is taken in the daytime, so it, the dome is closed. And that thing, that, that spidery thing up above, is where the secondary mirror is. So it, it reflects all the light from the primary, goes to the secondary, and then back down into the center of the telescope. So we can go outside on this tour right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of the roof of the building between the domes. And you can see. Uh, get a really good view from up there. In fact, the distance you see Haleakala on the island of Maui. Uh, there's Keck 2 telescope dome. We just saw Keck 1 a second ago. We're actually, this is on the roof of the building that connects the two domes. And those are, there are other telescopes, other so observatories on top of Monte Cay. You can see them as well. So, and she's going to turn off the sun and show us the nighttime. Take a second to load. This is what it looks like on some nights on the summit. Again, from the roof of the, the, uh, of the observatory. And there you see the new Keck 1 laser, which launches right from the center. Uh, it's a beautiful shot. This is by Andrew Cooper, who's an electrical engineer here and a really great photographer and a blogger who. Uh, how tip these shots for us. There's a little cloudiness in this shot, but uh, it's something they can blow through, actually. And uh, here's the Keck 2. And you can see some distant light. And that's natural light there. You can see uh, a lot of stars as well. We're going to do some... Uh, we're actually hoping to get yet another shot of this today to improve this even more with uh, more... Uh, more stars. So let's see where we're going to take us next to this one. Okay. We're down in the parking lot in front of the Keck Dome, so if you were standing outside of Keck, you'd be seeing this is the view out in the distance there, and another mountain way far away, that's Mauna Loa. And here we're looking at Keck 1. And Keck 2. Those are the domes about eight stories tall. And uh, we're going to turn on the night time, or turn off the sun again, Let's see how it looks at the night. And you can see so there's some, uh, there's, uh, I think it's White Galoa. Oh, I may have? Okay, here's White Galoa. And the lights are yellow, because most of the lights around here are uh, very narrow uh, wavelength in emissions so that they can be filtered out. And they're pretty good about that. Uh, on the islands here, all that we're very, trying very hard to keep it a dark, dark location. Okay, we're gonna go back to headquarters now. Okay, you can hear a lot of people here too. We're still, we're still webcasting live from Ronops 2 at Tech Observatory. 
So is that our tour? Okay. And we're back. We're back here in our road ops. Too. And we see what the weather's looking like. It's, it looks like we may have a little improvement. We're not ready to go yet, but there's a little bit of improvement.